Good morning, everybody. Today is another garden tour since everything is growing up and everything has changed. The garden is changing week by week. I thought I'd give you another tour this week of strawberry fields and blackberry fields. So come on along. We are now entering strawberry fields. Um, like I said, I'm keeping it real weeds and all today. I mean this year. Um, Annette Brown Iris is blooming. We're going to go around. I don't know how I'm going to be able to show you everything. Anyhow, I'll try. Uh, we have mint, of course. It's gone crazy. I used to have like three or four different types of mint in this bed. Um, I'm thinking about weeding this bed and placing some kind of veggie plant i'm not really sure right now but there is the red iris and we are looking into veggie land right there there's another iris and i'm gonna zoom around slowly and show you these two metal beds um Let's start over here with this bed. This bed is my strawberry bed, and I have been getting a few strawberries. I know I probably shouldn't let it go to fruit, but this has been established for a couple years. Just that one strawberry. So, zoom. I pulled all my radishes up, except for one wee one, and still harvesting the lettuce, the leaf lettuce. The spinach is going to seed. Um, I don't know if I want to go ahead and let it seed or not. I don't know. The beets are doing good. I know I need to thin them. Zooming over here. Bunch of irises just, you know. The white iris. Uh, more there's two different peonies there looks like only one came back up this year well no wait I see a pink a red right there and excuse me the iris the rose another peony another iris which this doesn't have a name but it's still beautiful nonetheless more another rose and this one is pin pinata when it blooms oh it's so pretty each bloom is different and over here in this bed I have I lost my little miniature rose thanks to the horse which I had him tied to the railing um, I have planted bush beans and then the high purple beans along this railing. So I'm going to go up here to this. And there's my big Rose of Sharon. It's purple in color. Um, onions planted here. Looks like one from last year is going to seed. I might just leave it. Uh, I have zucchini two planted. Right there and right there. And onions on the outside. Uh, I have three tomato plants. Red Deuce Mountain Fresh. So they're doing good. I'm going to tie them up on that. I'm thinking about planting a couple more close to the grapevine. Circle back around. That is Strawberry Fields. Now we're going to walk into blackberry fields. Um, the nine bark is blooming beautifully. Had to stop the camera so I post a picture of a nine bark bloom for you. Um, zoom around slowly. Um, the blackberries are all in bloom. I mean they are just Pretty much most of them. This one is 
Now it's this one down here. It's always last to be able to pick is these two rows. I don't know what it is. So these are my thornless variety. And these are the next few rows are just mixed with thorned and thornless. Um, for the most part, they are thorned and they are just crazy. And I do have some blackberries. You see that right there. So I'm anxious to get the blackberries. Zooming around. This is my black and white bed. At one time, that rose was white, I swear. It is not white no more. I don't understand why it turned red. And the beautiful peonies. There is an iris in here. There's Iceland iris. So that is blackberry, strawberry fields and blackberry fields. And tomorrow, I'm going to zoom back around. Sorry about the whiplash. Tomorrow, I will show you the pathway, nativity, and the angel area. So, I got to show you this pretty beautiful before I close. This iris right here, Brindle Beauty. Ain't that a beauty? Well, I'll see y'all later, and thanks for As always, be sure to high-five, that means like, and of course, subscribe. So, see y'all later, and God bless.